I'm now going to hand bend the tube and tube um, to reach my evaporator fittings. I'm going to follow a 90 degree route that it will come over here and then up vertically to there. I'm going to bend it by hand using the provided spring bender. Be sure to not kink the hose, but to make a nice gradual bend. Now I'm going to connect the evaporator tubes to the tube and tube. I'll do that by bending the evaporator tubes down. Be sure to securely tighten the fittings using a wrench on the uh, opposite fitting to keep it from rotating. Secure the foam and the tube and tube to the back of the cab using the P-clamps. Next I'm going to install this nylon drain tube and zip tie it and the PMM wire to the conduit. I'm now going to uh, finish the tube and tube installation by covering it with the supplied conduit. What I usually do is fit my end piece and my elbow and then measure how long of a straight section I'll need in between and then cut that out of the supplied straight. The last step is to connect the wiring harnesses. Okay. I'm just gonna tape the excess harness.
Always be sure to leave enough cable to bounce as the cab moves independently of the frame. The new IUS evaporators use flexible lines to connect the ClimaCab evaporator and condenser. The copper tube and tube is now self-contained within the evaporator module. By using flexible lines, you no longer need specific tube and tube lengths for your installation. Step one, bend the copper tubing on the back of the evaporator 90 degrees using the bender coils. Step two, use the supplied P-clamps to route and secure the flexible hose. The flex hoses attached to the condenser must be supported or attached to the truck cab at a point no further than one foot away from the end of the hoses, where they are attached to the condenser using a cushioned P-clamp. The reason for this is, if the hoses are not properly supported, it may cause undue fatigue on the quick disconnect fittings and supports, the condenser enclosure, and the copper tubing assemblies inside the enclosure. Step three, install the 90 degree hose support at the bottom edge of the cab to protect the flexible lines from damage. Use cable ties to secure the hoses to the 90 degree support. Since the IUS has a fixed amount of hose, plan to route and secure the excess hose. Systems with the IUS now come fully charged with refrigerant. There is no need to charge the system. Step one, ensure that the sleeper surface is free of dirt and grease. Step two, measure the horizontal and vertical conduits to fit between the elbows. Verify the elbows will overlap the conduit. Step three, mark the location on the conduit with a silver marker pen. Step four, cut the conduits using a pneumatic grinder or hacksaw. Step five, place the conduit over the refrigerant lines, wire harness, and drain tube. Use number 10 by 5 8 sheet metal screws to secure the conduit to the sleeper wall. Verify that the hoses are routed in your desired position prior to tightening the quick disconnect fittings. Now make sure to tighten the quick disconnect fittings.